Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to From Fall Farms. We're here with Kylie, who has already been out in the rain, kind of checking on the crops, seeing how everything's going, and not much, you yeah, know, he did a little bit of lumber harvesting, but not too much to do when all you have to do is just sit there and be happy because it's raining and you don't have to tend to anything. The rainy week runies are totally awesome, even though I do miss the music. But, Kylie had an epiphany, didn't you Kylie? Food, food is good. We've gotten his cooking skill up a little bit to level 6, and we were thinking, you know, gotta dive in, really start attacking all those places in the in the dungeon. So, Kylie, this, we have decided that Kylie's next goal is going to be, the, be getting the flame saber. So, because, you know, fire fights against the grass very well, in my opinion, fire versus grass. It's a pretty powerful attack, at 26 attack. So, flame saber... There's also, like, the hell, let's see, the hell rod or something, hell branch, there we go. But we're going to need a much bigger place that, than we currently have, plus I don't know where to find a ruby for that. So, our goals are going to be to make awesome food and a really awesome sword. So we're going to try to find what it takes to make a two-handed sword, just a broadsword and iron. We do not have a broadsword. So we'd have to go buy one, and then we've got a piece of iron, and then, so we can get that little, that little thing done really quick with a quick trip to Ganesha, actually. And then that way we can fight in the dungeon much better, because Kylie doesn't really have any good fighting weapons right now, and that's just a shame. And then, we're going to come over here, and we're going to make some super awesome food. You know, like smoked salmon, sunny side up, check it out. What you want to be looking for is looking down. Uh, how much HP and RP these things can give you because RP is very important of course and so is HP so I really want to try to find some foods that Kylie can make that are going to give him really strong solid RP HP gains Woo! check that out cooking oil and a potato french fries fatigue attack and earth attacks also boosted and he's got fantastic RP gain really good HP gain uh, for, you know, not being that great. So, potatoes. We have a whole bunch of potatoes we're currently growing. And cooking oil. Then there's, let's see, quite a few things you can do with fish. Um, but it's, like, not that big a boost in many cases. No char. Anything else? Not for the pot. Let's check out the frying pan. Let's see. Actually, this is the pot. That was the frying pan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Magic is up plus 30. Now that's really cool. So that's with berry jam when you put a strawberry in here and turn it into berry jam. Let's see. Porridge. Decent RP gain. HP gain. Egg bowl, much better. So eggs. If we found chickens. We need to find chickens though. There's orange jam. We don't have oranges. Udon. Max HP plus 45. So it also boosts your HP. Good to know. Good to know pretty strong um, RP gain too and you just need to buy some flour so we could probably make quite a bit of udon though it's kind of outside of our cooking skill right now we can still try let's see milk and chocolate I wonder if Eunice would like that that might be worth it now fish soup from snappers makes pretty good RP gain uh, and I can get snappers pretty easy going over I usually average at least two snappers from a fishing joint over at the ocean so we can get that boost magic water resistance so basically we're gonna try to make Kylie a super awesome cook that involves learning more recipes uh, we do have more turnips that's true. <laughs> turnips are easy to grow, but those are missed turnips. We won't do that to you, missed. We won't take your turnip and turn it into pickled turnips. I, I promise. Now, the good thing about the fish is that I can make a lot of fish food pretty quickly. Look at that. Defense up. Need a red salmon for that. Let's see. Trout. The RP gain isn't that great, but when you can make a lot of it really fast, that's pretty good. An HP potato salad, holy moly, look at that. Let's see, ice cream, mushroom rice, salmon, we had a bonito fish, but that's way outside our cooking skill. Yeah, a lot of these are like so far outside of our cooking skill, it's not even funny. I mean, level 99, yeah, not happening. Alright, so those are some goals. 
nice little, you know, not too. Oh, net. I gotcha. Morning. Let's make this a great. It's so nice and warm. This bag is a bit too big for me. But considering how much mail I have to carry, I can't trade for a smaller bag. <laughs> carrying a bag that's too big can be dangerous. Hey! You just called me a midget! I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what mail do we have? Read that us. Oh, yep, materia is open. I can't believe Rosetta actually opened that store, too. That really surprised me. Our cabbages are still growing. They're not quite ready to be harvested and have our super awesome sale yet. The potatoes are still growing. Did a little bit of clearing so we can actually plant stuff. Let's plant cucumbers. Let's plant the moon drop flowers there. I'd like to have flowers on the farm. It's a little bit of planting and a lot of just random. I think that'd be cool. Ah, oh, sweet. The camera moves so I can see better. Good. There we go. Now let's get the flower plants, the flower seeds out even. And go boom. And the rain takes care of the rest. That is fantastic. Alright, let's see. Just need to get one sword and then I have a wind. Okay, so we, we're on our way. Doing good, doing good. Oh yeah, and let's also work on that barn. How much lumber do we have now? Lumber. Oh yeah, we've got lots of lumber. Probably enough to convince what's his bucket? Our friend Cross. Because he only needed 10 lumber, didn't he? And was it 10,000 G? I think it was 10,000 G. So we're a little bit short. Maybe that, that'll be our goal for today. We'll try to collect enough things that uh, we can get to 10,000 G and, op and get a barn. So we can go collect woolies, because they're so adorable. I love woolies. Pachoo, pachoo. They make such cute noises. Alright, off to the ocean. We're going to fish. Because that actually is the best way to make money. Also, we can collect more water runies while we're there. The water runies at the lake and ocean are getting really out of hand. Just because they get to throw a party. Because all the rain doesn't mean that they can go and be causing trouble by not balancing with the rest of the runies. So, gotta collect some water runies. It does seem kind of like tedious sometimes, but it's very important. Got to keep the energies in balance. And how funny is it that you can run around and like do a little bit of ghost busting while you're here? Just cracks me up every time. It's like Ghostbusters. Come on, come on. In you go, little guy. Fantastic. I love that we upgraded the pole. Start a pole. Hmm. What does a special attack do, I wonder? Needlefish! Well, I caught something new. That's interesting. How much do you sell for, sir? 49G. Hmm. I'll try one more special attack and then it's just normal. Because that wastes RP. Ah, ah, ah. Aww. I knew I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. I pressed the button. Another needlefish. Apparently they like hanging out under these logs. Which I know is not technically true, but you have to immerse yourself in the game some. You can't just let it be about the hidden algorithms all the time. That'd be boring, wouldn't it, Kylie? Raining here. It's been raining in real life here quite a bit. As usual, it seems to do that like all the time, uh, which a lot of people are actually starting to say is like really unusual, and they're like, "This is so bad." And I saw some pictures from some of the local farmers who go to the farmers market, and they took pictures of their fields, and their fields are just flooded. And it's like, "Oh no!" They're like, "Yeah, I don't even know if the crops for this season are gonna make it," which is very sad. Oh, flounder! That's a new fish. A new fish. Yay, Kylie, you're catching all sorts of new fish. Which reminds me, like, Harvest Moon and River King uh, were sibling games for so long. River King was all about fishing to save your sister or something like that. I don't know. I never played it. It just often shared information on the early Harvest Moon websites, and it was so awesome. There you go. Another needlefish. See how easy fish like fishing is? You just stand out here. 
Toss your lion in. Man, all these needlefish. They don't even sell for that much. They're getting in the way of the blackfish who sell for, like, a lot more. Get out of here, needlefish. I'm gonna fish off the dock. I'm tired of you guys. I wish you could, like, collect the seashells and the starfish and stuff like that. That'd be so fun. It was so fun just to find the seashells and, the, like, the little clams that... I don't know what they're called. They're not, like clams you take home because they're still alive. I can't remember what they're called right now. It's so embarrassing. But I would collect them, like, just to look at them because you can see where their little air pockets are in the sand. And they've got some beautiful shiny shells. Come on. And then you let them go again because they're alive. Yay! Lots of fish. We're fishing our way to a barn. But yeah, lots of rain here. Been nice for my garden though, because then I don't have to go out and water it, which is always always fun. Gotta water the seedlings though, because where they're set, not all of them. Aww. Man, this is really abundant. You throw it in. Oh yay! I leveled up on the fishing skill. You toss it in, and like the next second, you've got a fish. I can't believe. I don't know what was wrong. Maybe the fishing skill was just low. Way back when we were trying this out, when he first got the fishing rod, and. Like, there was just no fishing. No fish were showing up. And I thought, like, everything was horrifically broken. <gasps> A bonito fish. Fantastic. This is totally worth it. Ah, aww. But yeah. Seedlings are doing great. Oh my gosh, the bean seedlings just popped up, like, overnight. Sometimes it really is like, oh, I did it again. I'm sorry, Kylie. I'm getting too excited about my seedlings. Sometimes it really is just like kind of Rune Factory-esque where you wake up in the morning and you go out and like where there was just empty dirt the day before, all of a sudden your seedlings sprouted. The Ozark sugar beans or, or sugar peas are coming up fantastic. The garden beans are coming up strong. I'm going to nurture them, take good care of them. I'm thinking of planting. There's like a bunch of mailboxes in our front yard where the neighbors come and get their mail too. We're like, we like host the mailboxes for some reason. I'm thinking of planting. Oh, look at all the fishies. Yay, bonito fish. Yay, flounder. Alright, hopefully, hopefully that was worth the time spent. It definitely was better time spent than if we were dungeon crawling at this point in the game. Our dungeons are not that fantascular just yet. Open you up. But yeah, I'm thinking about taking our little um, Ozark sugar peas, sugar, yeah, Ozark sugar peas, yep, and planting them uh, where, oh, look at that, 1,000, and, well, like, 271 G worth of fish, oops, almost, ah, the needlefish were still hiding, there we go, that's a lot of fish, that's getting us closer to our goal, on being able to afford the barn too. We're doing really good. This is very early in the game still. This is the 15th of spring. So this is like ridiculously early in the game still. And yet here we are just trucking along. <laughs> we got money. We've already like decked out our house with so much stuff. I'm sorry. I keep get interrupting myself too. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to plant the Ozark sugar peas. Sugar snap. Snap peas. There we go. That's where I was messing up the snap peas out by the mailboxes. So, because I have a ton of them, and so then if people just want to pick a few when they get their mail, they can do that. Community garden. Good morning. You seem lively so early. She is definitely not a morning person. I heard you went to Well Island. Can I ask a favor from you? What is it? Marco keeps asking. Marco keeps asking to tag along. Don't worry. The monsters there are way too dangerous. I would never take Marco with me. Really? That's good to hear. She asked that before. They just kind of. I'm not going to keep repeating what you say, woman. Say something new. They're all good stuff. Okay, okay, we're going to make a fire sword. Thanks. Let's grab a broadsword and a fire crystal. Good luck out there. That was like 3,000 G down the drain. But hopefully it'll be worth it. Okay, give her this. Nice Great. piece present. Uh, what else do we have? Hmm... Uh, Nothing to really gift anybody. 
Let's pop back to the house. Oh, hey, there's our Albin attacking a worm in my front yard. I love this view. I see so much. So many pretty, pretty, like, birds and everything. There's a ton of birds here, too. I mean, like, that you can see. And at night, oh my gosh, you can hear the frogs just croaking like mad. Let's see. Get that weed, Kelly. And now comes that annoying part of the day where we wait till three. Because that'll be when we can go. Oh, let's. Do we have any grass? Yeah, we've got one grass. Let's go say hi to Cross. Drop him off our daily allotment of grass because it makes him, like, so happy. Maybe we'll check the Rooney calendar too. Catch a quick fish with, like, our last remaining RP. Take it to Cinnamon, who hates the rain. I bet. That's kind of like conflicting. We keep going to candy. Candy, make it rain! And Cinnamon's like, jerk, now I can't fish or look at my celestial stars that I love so much. Personally, I really like Cinnamon right now. I used to really like Selfie, so it's kind of an interesting development to me how now I'm like, oh, Cinnamon, you're so cool. A chub. We got a chub. Aw, oh, we wore him out. Dang it. That's okay. We'll take care of him just a bit. But now Selfie really annoys se Selfie really annoys me. Her name is also a tongue twister. In my personal opinion. Cross, cross, cross. Where are you, Cross? I love the hanging flowers he has in front of his house. Those are actually really pretty. I've never noticed this before. Cross. It's a Tuesday. It's 1 p.m. Where are you? I'm not here. Oh well, that didn't work. We don't really have anything to take our friend Eric. So we'll just work this way. But yeah, it's fun. I think that hopefully like a community garden y thing um will work out nicely. Just to have it over there so that people can be like, you know, that sounds like something I would like in my salad, or yeah, that would be something yummy. Because it's not that hard. If I'm just putting a seed in the ground, and then I'm watering it, and then tending to it, and if you want to, like, and there's lots of them, <laughs> so if you want some, feel free, and then one day maybe they'll return the favor. That's the idea of it. Do, to do, to do. Anybody in here? Hey, Cinnamon! Hi. I used to do research at a magic laboratory in a large city. I got called here by Grandpa, so I came with candy. I wonder if she misses it. <laughs> I wonder how much of a... how much is our chub worth? Okay. Not worth like a couple hundred, so... We're just tired of money, that's Thank all. Thank you. I like this. There you go. Oh, I bet I know what it is. My real name is an herb. It's a herb name. And cinnamon is an herb. So, I feel a common bond with her. Ah! Ran into a wall. That's not helping anything, Kylie. Don't Hello. run into walls. It's so warm. I'm sure strawberry shortcakes would taste great during this season. Was that a hint? Was that a hint? <laughs> strawberry shortcakes. Noted. No clue where the heck I would get that from, but noted. <laughs> let's see. Actually, let's go to the business district, because that makes me curious. Do we have any medical herbs? We'll pop in, say hi to the sister Laura, because she rescues us when we pass out and get beat up by monsters, and, and that happens sometimes. All of a sudden, it's too much, and then we're stuck. Hi, Cross. You're in the church, I see. Hi. Just came to chat. Rumor says that you have no memory of your past. <laughs> Being able to forget your past is a good thing. It's always about how you view things. Oh, Sad. Sad man is very sad. Eagle. They almost they look really similar this to me too. Good. Maybe they're from the same place. Hello, sister Hello. Stella. It's my job to maintain a peaceful life for everyone. Hmm. 
So she's kind of like the mayor of the village. May I help you? Hello. Hello. Illness should be treated as early as possible. If you feel like something's wrong, please don't hesitate to ask me. Doing good, doing good. Here's a medical herb for you. That you can make into all your uh, healy stuff. Thank you. Hopefully, I mean, I wonder if that's doing anything. Let's see, relationships. Miss thinks we're cool, and Melanie thinks we're cool. Cinnamon's close to thinking we're cool. And that thinks we're cool. Not much yet, though. Kano thinks we're the coolest. I think Can Kano's like, hey, you are cool. Le yep, see? <laughs> we'll have to go and collect more of the magic powders for him, because that's the key to his heart. He took us in really fast, too. Like, he just met us, like, a week ago. Speaking of which, I wonder if it's almost time to renew my spell for the rain. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I do, because then I'm going to be stuck using up my all my RP in the morning, every morning, trying to prevent myself from toppling over, just from watering the plants, and I don't want to do that, because that's annoying. But at the same time, <laughs> I miss the music. <laughs> the rain just keeps going on and on and on. Oh, hey, Eunice, you're dusting. Hello. I was hoping to buy some flour. I don't really like it because I can't do the laundry. Man, we're just messing everyone's life up with this. I some new dishes to make for the guests at the inn. I wonder what I should make. I do feel a little guilty now because it's like we're we're screwing with everyone's lives by <laughs> summoning the rain so much. Sinwen can't go look at at like her her beloved stargazing, and yeah, we're just we're kind of messing with everybody's life. Eunice can't do her laundry, her clothes are going to start going bad, and we're to blame, and it'll just be weird. Let's see, too many rock runes last I checked up here, so let's collect a few more of those guys. Doo -doo -doo. Because this doesn't use RP up, so it's a nice little way to spin that spare time. There's the music! And up into the stairs of the amphitheater. See, it can be really confusing because you have to like do your research on what runes are most populous and what areas. Because when you're just looking at them, often you can't tell because it looks like there's a lot of water runes here. But when I've gone and looked at the actual data on like the readouts that you can see from Candy, that's not the case. There's more rock runes up there than anything. But I really need to double check that thing. I feel like you know you're randomly kidnapping <laughs> the spirits of the earth and the planet and being like, yeah! Totally not gonna have any bad side effects. Hey, Hi. what's up, Melanie? It's so warm! It is spring. Welcome. This village is so nice. This is the only place in the world where you can find a hot spring in the sky. <laughs> I'm so happy that people are passionate about what they're passionate about. Oh, we're all out of grass together. Oh well. That will be ten gold. Thank you. Let's pop in. I haven't seen Nolan for a while. After this, I'm gonna go and transfer some of my yellow pear tomato seedlings outside. That's gonna be so exciting. They all came up a lot better than I thought they would, so now I'm going to have like a million yellow pear tomato plants. <laughs> I'm just going to plant them along one of the sides of the house. Be like, well then. Alright, let's do this. Let's make that awesome weapon. But hopefully we can make, even though our skill is not very high. And then let's dive into the ruins and do some more ruin- Oh, hey Mist. Yeah, How are you today? It's so warm. We're going to go fight in, uh, yeah. I know you like pe seeing people work real hard, so we're gonna go jump into the ruins. Oh, I'm almost out of turnips for you. Oh dear. You didn't hear that. Your turnip Thank supply you. is stable. Don't be frightened. Alright, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we could have made a broadsword with iron and a knife piece. I could have done that. That was dumb. Wasted money. Wasted money. That's what I get for not paying attention. Okay, and it's a two-handed sword. What the heck was I looking at earlier then? I don't even know what I was looking at. I must have just been doing something.